There are a number of protocols available on the QuantiFit. OHD recommends using the Redon protocol for all air purifying respirators and the SCBA protocol for all SCBA respirators. We've selected the Redon protocol for this training demonstration. Under the test menu, turn the selector knob to highlight Redon and then press the knob to accept your selection. If the keyboard is connected, you will be prompted to enter test information including ID number, name, mask size, and type. You can select Clear All Test Subject Data to clear all fields or simply type over the existing information. To move to the next entry field, simply press the selector knob or the enter key on the keyboard. After entering test operator name, you can then select Done Entering Subject Data. If there is no keyboard attached to the QuantiFit, you will not be prompted for this personnel information. The operator would have to complete this information on the printout at the end of the test. When no keyboard is connected, the operator must choose between a half-face and full-face mask. The test subject will stand as still as possible and face forward as instructed in the first step of the protocol. Instruct the subject not to breathe, exhale, or swallow, but remain completely still until the test is finished. Explain that he will take a comfortable breath, not a deep breath, and hold it during the eight seconds of the test. When the test subject is ready and is holding his breath, he can press and hold the trigger button until the test has been completed. At the end of the eight second measurement, the valve will automatically be released and the test subject can breathe normally. At this time, he can release the trigger button. If the test has met the minimum passing criteria, including a minimum passing fit factor, the operator will be prompted to begin the second step of the protocol. If for some reason the operator wants to redo the previous step, he may select retry previous step. Read aloud the instructions on the fit tester to bend over and hold breath. The subject will bend at the waist and face the floor, allowing gravity to pull on the mask. He will then take a breath and press and hold the trigger button. Hold for eight seconds and release the button, just as in the first step. In the third step, have the subject shake his head vigorously side to side a couple of times and exhale forcefully. Ask the subject to stop shaking his head, then hold his breath as before and face forward. Push and hold the trigger button and wait eight seconds for the end of the test. In the fourth step, the subject must completely remove the respirator and let the straps out. Then he will redon the mask and resume procedure just as before, but this time facing forward. The fifth step duplicates the previous step. Each redon step is critical in recognizing potential problems in the donning of the respirator. The fit factors produced after each redon can reveal problems the subject may have when donning and adjusting the respirator. Once you save the final read-on step, verify the mask model and size before saving the test. The QuantiFit will display the overall fit factor and the percent of leak rate in the machine's display. You can view or print the results of the fit factor as these options are shown. In this demonstration, we will print the results by pressing Save and Print. Or you can save the test, which will become a part of the onboard data log under the System menu. Any test saved here can be printed and viewed at a later time. If the keyboard is connected, the operator and test subject simply sign the appropriate place on the bottom of the report. The read-on test is now complete. If there is no keyboard connected to the QuantiFit, the operator will fill in the subject's name, ID number, mask manufacturer and size, then the test subject and operator will sign the bottom of the form.